When severe storms occur, there's likely going to be damage. In the worst storms, when faced with downed power lines and trees, the first thing most people think of is, was that a tornado? Here in low country, most of the times that answer is no. Here's Ron Morales with the National Weather Service office in Charleston. In a season or in a year, we might issue 150 to 250 severe thunderstorm warnings on a good year, on a busy year, versus less than a dozen tornado warnings. Rare, but not uncommon. So how do we determine if a storm was tornadic or not? Well, by looking at velocities on radar to find rotation, that's the first step, and that's where those warnings come from. But a warning does not confirm a tornado. That only comes with verification from spotter video or by damage surveys done by the National Weather Service after the storm has come and passed. Verification is, is a big weight on our shoulders, if you will. It's something that we, we have to verify every warning that we put out in the National Weather Service, whether it's a winter storm warning or a tornado warning or a flash flood warning. They all need to be verified. Most of the times that verification comes from those damage surveys in which meteorologists from the National Weather Service office will go out and observe damage from a storm. We know there's damage, we know where we're going. It's a question of determining for sure whether it was truly tornadic wind that did the damage or straight line wind that did the damage because nine times out of 10 reported as tornado. The way they verify this is by looking at patterns that the damage will be in. Now, thankfully this field doesn't have any damage, but we can visualize it by taking a bird's eye view. Straight line wind damage would generally be unidirectional, with trees and debris all falling and facing one direction as winds rush out ahead of a storm. Compare this to damage caused by a tornado, in which it tends to be more chaotic. Due to a tornado's characteristic spin, trees will fall in a convergent pattern, both falling inward towards the path of tornado, but one following another in a straight line. In fact, surveys can tell the path and the distance of a tornado by this damage where those objects are converging toward the path where the tornado is. It's not always that easy though, because maybe you got one or two trees down and they're 100, 200 yards apart. You've got to get compasses out. You've got to do some geometry there to figure out whether those truly are convergent. It is a process, but it is a process that helps the National Weather Service improve their warnings by understanding exactly what happened. For this week's Moment of Science, I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist David Dixon.